So you've got the first course, which is the crab tortellini with a lemongrass and ginger bisque. The dish consists of three individual crab-filled tortellini. You know, the technique here is the pasta's not too thick. You see it's nice and thin. It's cooked, still what we call a little al dente. They will sit in a longestine lemongrass and ginger bisque. With all great pasta dishes, the sauce will carry a lot of the flavour. And be served with ginger batons, pink grapefruit segments, and topped with coriander oil and micro herbs. It shows a lot of skill, you know. It's a nice way to start what will be a five course meal. It's simply done and done well. It's as good a dish as ever. Absolutely. No, it's beautiful. It's it, the, the balance of all the different flavours, and you can taste them all. It's stunning. Good. That's an absolutely stunning dish. There's so many elements in there, which I'm quite concerned about. But I'm really excited about it, being able to just get stuck in now and, uh, and hopefully uh, do Chef proud. Tony's first task is to get the vegetables on for the longestine bisque. Yeah, I've, I've never cooked anything like this before. Not, not this quality, this standard. So um, this is just, yeah, it's a real, real learning experience. It's great. Oh my God, that's amazing. You've got quite a tricky dish. It's the tart little quail eggs with okay. quail and a little onion confit. The dish is a quail breast cooked in a water bath and pan roasted before being sliced at the last minute and served on an onion confit with roasted shallots and glazed baby vegetables. This will be served alongside a puff pastry tartlet topped with onion confit quail's eggs and black truffle discs and drizzled with a quail jus. Things that matter, critical time, if you overcook those eggs by putting them under the salamander too long. So just a couple of minutes, Absolutely. Really. Yeah. So it's all about timing. Happy? <sighs> Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is very delicate cooking. I'm not a delicate cook. I am a little bit scared, but you know what? I'm under the guise of a great master, so uh, I will do my very best. Before Emma starts on anything else, she needs to carefully prep the quail, removing the winglets and the wishbone. I'm working through my list. Each stage takes quite a long time. She then stuffs them with thyme, garlic and butter, ready for poaching in a water bath. I just want to make sure everything is ready, basically. I'll feel more prepared if everything's prepared. <laughs> Simon, welcome. Thank you. You've got the main course. There's quite a lot going on. Yeah. I think the first thing to remember is that, uh, you know, it's all about getting everything ready. The braised cheeks are the most important thing. The dish's main element is a cube of slow-cooked braised beef cheek, served with celeriac puree and spinach. These are accompanied by sliced beef fillet on a shallot confit and plated with diced celeriac, roasted shallots, mushrooms, tarragon crisps and tarragon oil and finished with a complex red wine sauce. It's amazing. It's, uh, if I can get it as good as that tasting and looking, then I'll be really pleased. Good luck. Thank you. It's genius, it's really good. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Simon gets underway prepping the beef cheeks. The main concern for this dish is timing. There's quite a lot to get on with. They need to be right on it from the word go. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Where do I get a brush? He then braises them, ready to go in the pressure cooker. It's a big occasion and your main course is the main event, isn't it? It's the star of the show, if you like, but you've got to get that right. You've got to look after it. 